it's become a reality that Luxembourg has has become the the start the hub for private equity and alternatives in general in in Europe. And it's a real opportunity. It's there. The actors are there. The assets under management are there. And it can only go one way, and then it, it grows. Because if I see around my own business, everything around us grows. The number of funds, the number of, of teams, the number of invested assets is just growing tremendously. And that's the opportunity that Luxembourg can seize. Something that I really wanted to get across today was to demonstrate that impact investing is not on the side. I mean, people are coming to us. Um, impact investing is mainstream now. The, the volume of money that's coming into the space, the historical records that we've got in terms of the returns that we can make, now's the time to, to really get into impact investing. Having a, an impact while making an investment is not only something that is possible, but it's also desirable. And, um, and actually, it's not that you have to make any compromise. Actually, investing in um, companies that are pursuing a mission that is either socially or environmentally driven actually is conducive to making uh, bigger performance than investments that are not. So that's really a very powerful message. And the second message is that to investors is that whenever you're assessing the opportunity to invest in companies or funds that have an impact. You first have to define what type of impact you want to, you know, want to make, right? What is it that resonates with you? And there's no single answer that's right or wrong. You have to define the impact that suits you, what you want to achieve over the next year. And hence, on that basis, you'll know what you have to measure. And, um, that's how you can be successful.